welcome to a very special episode of Journey to the Magic from the Disney Wish. I'm Joanna Fletcher and welcome to an extra special episode of Journey to the Magic, direct from Disney Cruise Line's brand new ship, the Disney Wish. <laughs> now, because this is my first ever sailing, I had to bring along the man who started it all by introducing me to the magic of Disney holidays in the first place. It's my husband, Tom Fletcher. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I'm glad you had to bring me along. <laughs> Can you believe that we're here? No, it feels a, a bit surreal. Well, I'm very glad that you host this podcast, honey. Thank you very much for bringing me along. <laughs> so we are here in the middle of the ocean, just off the coast of the Bahamas, which is pretty incredible. And as if things couldn't be any more exciting, this is also our first ever visual episode. So hello to everyone watching on YouTube. Hello, hello, hello. Now, before we delve into what has been a brilliant trip, it might be useful to give a little background for our listeners, because I'll be honest, after hosting this podcast for two years, I still didn't know too much about Disney Cruise Line or even cruising in general. So when I heard they were launching a brand new ship, the Disney Wish, I just had to get a piece of the magic. Now, what's great about a Disney Cruise Line holiday is how close the port is to Walt Disney World. It's less than an hour away, so we took the opportunity to have some family time at the theme parks before we set off for our cruise adventure. And because we wanted to explore everything the Disney Wish has to offer and tell you about it, including the adult-only areas of the ship, we left the kids at Walt Disney World to spend some quality time with their grandparents. But we have been lucky enough to have Tom's sister Carrie along with us to share in in the fun. So let's chat all things Disney Wish. Tom, <laughs> <laughs> how did it feel when we pulled up to Port Canaveral? Because we could see the ship. We could see it in the, on the drive Yeah, in. I think that kind of builds the excitement. You know, as you're driving in, you're coming over like these bridges and then suddenly as you come over one bridge, it just appears and it's this like massive ship in the distance. And it's just, I mean, it is enormous. It's so impressive to see. It takes you a while just to get over the keep saying, it's really big, isn't it? I can't <laughs> believe how big this thing is. Um, and I've never been, like we've never been on a Disney cruise. We've never been on a cruise ship before. So this is a brand new experience for us. So the, the kind of the novelty of being on a ship, I nearly called it a boat. It's definitely not a boat. <laughs> Being on a ship that is bigger than most hotels, like yeah. it is unbelievable. Um, we should point out that Max as well, our three-year-old, thinks we're on a pirate ship right now. That's true. Well, there were pirates. There has been there pirates. Were. There have yeah. been pirates. That's, we can go and confirm that yeah. to him. Um, so talk to me about what it was like actually stepping onto the ship and into the Grand Hall. Well, as always with Disney, it's there's always a little bit of extra magic that... You know, you, you, I've been to Disney World a lot of times, never been on a cruise, but, you know, so I kind of, you're expecting there to be some magic, but just little things like when you step on the ship, they announce you. <laughs> like they announce your name as you walk in and everyone claps and applauds and cheers you. Like it's just a little like extra touch that makes your arrival feel really special and exciting. It's so magical on board. It's really, really special. Um, and right from the moment that you, you set foot on board the ship. Um, and then obviously you're walking to that, the first hall that you're seeing on the, the main deck is just so impressive. It is enormous. You know, it's these huge ceilings and, you know, that span, you know, multiple floors of the ship. So, yeah, your expectations are far surpassed the moment you step on board. Now, one of the first things we did from the Grand Hall is we, we travelled down to the Oceaneers Club, yeah. which is... Via slide. <laughs> exactly, that's where I'm going to. Uh, so it's a special place for three to 12 year olds and we traveled there by slide. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty cool way to get anywhere. Bye. <laughs> I literally was like, Wee! the whole way down. Yeah, yeah, you really went for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say you were reserved, no, but I don't amazing. think you were. <laughs> the thing is, like, we never, like, our kids have never done kids' clubs anywhere. No. Like, this is far beyond any kids' club. If I could, I would spend most of my time in there. Like, there's a Star Wars area and a Marvel area, and the Imagineer bit where you can learn about how the rides are made. Like, when I was a kid, that 
would have blown my mind. Mm. Like, it is so awesome there. Isn't this what makes Ant-Man grow big and small, right? Right. Yeah? Yes, they are. Very cool. It's like Disney World on the ship. Like, it's unbelie- it is unbelievable. Like, you literally go around going, oh, my God, Buzz would be doing this, Buddy would be doing that. Yeah, well, it's completely it's immersive. Enough. Like, the Star Wars room feels like you're suddenly on board a ship in Star Wars, and mm. it's all interactive. Like, you press buttons, and it makes things happen. If I had this when I was a kid, I literally, I never would have left this one room. <laughs> <laughs> and every room is is like, you know, is equally as kind of immersive. It's, it's incredible. So yeah, I mean, the kids would not want to leave there. You would have no second thoughts about letting your kids go and spend time there. Cause, and also it feels like it's a really creative space. Like the Imagineer bit was just amazing. Like I would love them to go learn how. I want to go in there and learn how the rides are made and design rides and then ride the rides that you've designed. Like what an amazing place to go and spend your holiday. Like it's incredible. When I was a kid, all I wanted to be was a Disney Imagineer and design rides and attractions for Disney theme parks. This would have been like my dream holiday here. <laughs> it was amazing, that was really amazing. I think that any kid would just, it would blow their minds. And even the, the Small World Nursery was just such a delight. Yeah, it was really cute, wasn't it? So cute, seeing all the cots together. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, a very special place. It's fair to say we've we've eaten in a few different places, a, a lot of places while being aboard. I can't believe we've only been here for three days because the amount of food that we've eaten, the amount of the, the places that we've been, yeah, it's been brilliant. We've done a lot in these three days. Right now, I'm so full of ice cream. Right now, by the way, everyone, <laughs> I've eaten way too much ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> but of the restaurants that we've been to, so we've been to 1923, uh-huh. we've been to Worlds of Marvel, and we've been to Arendelle, a frozen dining adventure. What's been your favourite and why? Oh, it's really, really difficult to pick because mm. they're all, they're not just, it's not just like a themed restaurant. It's like a dining experience. So you, like the Marvel one is just amazing. And actually, I didn't really know what we were going into with that. I didn't realise it would be such a kind of storytelling, ex- like an immersive experience. And it just, yeah, it just kind of caught me off guard. Like the amount of creativity that has gone into just each one feels like, man, that would be an amazing standalone thing to go and visit. But isn't that Disney? Like yeah. we say all the time, even even a, a bin in a park is so well yeah, it comes through. to life. So it shouldn't yeah, be that surprising to us that on a new ship, yeah, but I just feel like it goes into it. Yeah, I just I didn't I thought maybe you would just have like one main place like that would be mm. like that on board the ship, but just having multiple places that are to that scale, um, yeah, is incredible. Like it feels like every single meal, every night, you can do something that is just beyond anything you would get anywhere else. Yeah, um, yeah, I mean like having. Ant Man shrink the ship, and then when he comes, you know, like, and then Ant Man comes out at the end and <laughs> it blows up your dessert. Like, it's amazing. Like, it's and it's all interactive. You know, like, it's it's just yeah, it's incredible. And it's incredible as well. You're at dinner, but I mean, it was me, you, and Carrie sat at dinner. But when we were having to press the button to blow things up or shrink things, we were all jumping at the chance to be involved in it. Yeah, well, you kind of, I mean, we're pretty good, I think, at embracing those kind of elements anyway. But you kind of like, you just get caught. It's so immersive that you just are caught up with everything, aren't you? You go yeah. along with it. And then, yeah, and then the Frozen one at Arundel is just, that was amazing. And the performers were just like, they're, mm. it's on another level. Like, they're so talented. Like, the musicianship is just amazing oh her the voice. violinist yeah the violinist and her voice, is incredible oh my gosh I know yeah the shows are just amazing They're but that's a- interesting isn't it because they've taken Frozen something that we all know and love but what they've done with it isn't something that people would expect oh yeah it's a unique show that's just for that mm. moment yeah you're not seeing like the story of Frozen just acted out in front of you it's you know it's kind of tailored around the idea of you're having dinner and yeah it's really cool and the food was really really good and for a more classic dining experience there's 1923 why is it called 1923, Tom? Can you tell me that? Because it's the year uh, that the uh, Walt Disney Company was founded, well done. I believe. That, that is correct. Is that right? Your Disney knowledge is, is up oh, there. Thank you. Um, and also, though, we have had so many other nice treats along the way. Um, I want to touch on, <laughs> I don't think this will be a brief chat, uh, Joyful Sweets, Thomas. Tell me about Joyful Sweets. Okay, so it is a place with, that you can go and get ice cream and gelato and treats inspired inspired by inside out out, yeah yeah. but these are just not like normal ice i mean they're they're just amazing they taste so so good oh my that's so good Ah. i think we 
went over our limit of how many ice creams you're <laughs> supposed to have but also, tasters of. There's a whole of. stand of like gelato, then a whole other one of ice cream. I didn't even know there was a difference between gelato and ice cream. Yeah. But there is. Because I tasted the hazelnut ice cream and then the hazelnut gelato. Oh, I wondered if you were going to try the both, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Which was better? Gelato. Yeah. yeah, it was so good. So creamy. Yeah, so more, delicious. More milk in it, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. Well, I then, you listened. I listened to the guy. You did. Oh, you're so clever. Okay. Ready? Oh, man. <laughs> I so good. You can't eat this and not smile. <laughs> ice cream has, like, this ability to make you really, really happy. It did. It's just got something in it where I just... It was just so good that you can't help but smile. Like, it just does something to your face. And what was your claim while you were in there? Thomas? My claim was that that was possibly my favourite place in any Disney... In Disney. I mean, I think this might be my favourite place in That's all of funny. Disney. Mm. This is your favourite place in the whole of Disney? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I that. I know that you was a made bold, that statement and then you were like, It was maybe, a bold statement. Maybe, maybe. But maybe. right now in this moment, it's my favourite place in all of Disney. <laughs> well, it's going to be hard to beat. Okay. In that moment, <laughs> it was my favourite place in all of Disney. Um, but also just the desserts you have at like at lunchtime and the buffet are like are amazing. Like the carrot cake and the Nutella cheesecake. Like there's so much good food. Well, Marceline Market. Yeah. Walking through there. Literally, we what one thing that we do like to do when we hit Marsley Market is go up and down and see what's available. Yeah, what you do is because there's two sides that are identical, but for some reason you still have to, I feel like I have to walk up one side and then when it just the same stuff starts repeating, I feel like I'm, I'm just going to have a look at the same stuff again <laughs> just to be sure I know what's there. Yeah, that place is amazing. Uh, one thing we did do, we met... Captain Mickey. Yeah. Hi, Mickey and Minnie. Hi. How are you, okay? <laughs> this is like Captain you. Minnie and Captain Mickey, right? <laughs> Thanks for having us on board. Boat. There we go. <laughs> it's a lovely ship you have here. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm I know. very impressed. Thank you for having no, us. It's pretty amazing. So beautiful. And what I love is that you walk past them on the ship and you're like, whoo, 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 whoo. We had over with things you don't see them very often. Like No. So I feel like you have to make the most of those moments. Yeah. I had a dance with Goofy, with Pirate Goofy. You yeah, had quite a boogie. We did. did a bit of uh, sailor dancing. <laughs> I feel like that's been my dance of the, uh, of the cruise. <laughs> well, I had quite an embarrassing moment. Because really? I had photos taken with Pirate Mickey and Pirate Minnie. Yeah. Uh, looked back at them afterwards. And my dress is see-through. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should have told you when I was taking the pictures. <laughs> I was like, she's so happy, though. <laughs> It's not that see-through. <laughs> it's like you say that you don't see you don't see those characters around. You don't you don't get to see Pirate Mickey a lot. So when you when you do see him or Pirate Goofy or Pirate Minnie, you want to make the most of that. Yeah, and the princess, and also it's so like it's so chilled and quiet on here. Like you feel like you really get to spend time with them, and mm. you know, like we were just walking around last night. And it's like oh, it's Cinderella and it's Pirate Goofy, and you can just go and hang out and say hi and do some pirate dancing. I mean, we always talk in the podcast about whether you're a planner. Or if you just, you know, spontaneously go around. And I think that actually also applies to the ship. Mm. Because if you're on the app, you can see where characters are. You can see what's going on. But we've taken an approach of, oh, I'll go here. I'll go there. I'll go for a little walk. <gasps> There's Mickey. Yeah, we've really liked how we just kind of stumbled upon, like, awesome little, like, magical moments. Um, which has been really nice. Yeah. Something special that, that <laughs> Disney Wish has. Mm-hmm is Disney's first attraction at sea. Yeah. Aquamouse. Which we got to ride a few times. (laughs) Honestly, I felt like a big kid. And you laugh the entire time. It's incredible! So much fun! So fun! Talk to me about it. What happens? You get on a little dinghy, then what happens? So you get on a dinghy and you're taking up this kind of tunnel that has Mickey and the gang uh, from the new Mickey Mouse shorts, which I really love as they well. Are, as soon as I went, went on, I was like, this, Tom's going to love yeah, this. Yeah, I love, I love the new Mickey animations. And then, yeah, so it takes you up to the drop and everything goes dark and then you're in this kind of dark... It's pretty intense, the first one, because you don't really know where, where you are, where you're going. Here we go! Woo! And then suddenly you are kind of flung out in this tube off the edge of the ship. Ah! It's fun and refreshing. It's not too intense. I feel like the build-up to it is really intense. Once you're doing it, you're like, actually, okay, this is fine. <laughs> Once you've done it once, you're like, okay, I want to do that again now. And another little bit of fun that me and you have done 
in Incredi Games. Yeah, well, that was yeah, that was fun, but competitive fun. Well, we took on the Incredi course. Mm-hmm. It's an inflatable assault course, I would say. Yeah. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> <laughs> Who won, Thomas? Uh, yeah, you won that one. Yeah. <laughs> yes! I feel like I really was brilliant in that moment. You the, found the your calling in the life. The slide coming down towards the end... It's a brilliant moment, yeah, it's especially good fun. knowing that you are still at the other, uh, other side. Yeah, I'd like to have seen the kids on there, actually. The boys would have really loved that. I mean, like we say, there's so many parts of the ship that we're like... Yeah, well, that whole area was amazing, because I remember on the first tour, we walked through there, and there was something completely different in it's there. It's the Hero remember? Zone, yeah. Where there's people playing basketball, mm-hmm. I think, in there. And then, yes, and then going in there and suddenly seeing this... In, I mean, it's massive, that thing. Like, it's enormous, inflatable, suddenly, in this... And you kind of forget that you're on a ship. Yeah. Like, this is a huge kind of sports hall... So yeah, it was, that was really cool. That was really good fun. On our second day, we yes. went to a very special place, Castaway Key. Now we have talked about this as a family a lot because I, I can remember your dad telling me years ago, you know, Disney's got their own island. Yeah, it was just kind of this magical thing. Is like Disney have an island? We were like, somewhere. what? That's ridiculous. As if they have their own island. Yeah. And we have now been on that island in the Bahamas. Not just been on it, we have run. A 5k on it. Okay, honey. You ready to do a 5k in paradise? I am ready. Are you? Castaway key run. You ready? I'll race you there. Come on. <laughs> I came <laughs> with my medal. I was promised a medal if we did a 5k. We were told the night before we went there that you can that, that there is such thing as a 5k, the castaway key 5k, uh, which sounded interesting. But as soon as they said there's a medal, there was no way we weren't going to do it. No, we all signed up for the medal. <laughs> We did it for the glory. Ready? We're about to finish. We're about to finish. Ready? Ready? Okay. Well done. Oh. Can we have our medals. Yeah. Medals and a cocktail. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Medal first. Medal first. <laughs> it was really good fun. And also, what are your types of fun? It's type two oh. fun. Yeah. So I've got three types of fun. Type yeah. one fun is in the moment fun, where it is the best thing ever. You are living your best life. Yeah. Like type, the ice cream, like joyful treats. That, that's that was definitely type. That's one type fun. one fun. Yeah. Type two fun is not so much fun in the moment. Right. Uh, you know, you might cry. It might be a bit. You know, hot. Might be difficult. Might be challenging. Mm-hmm. But on reflection, wasn't that brilliant? Mm-hmm. And then type three fun is no fun. Right. Okay. So uh, see, I would say that there were elements of type two fun in the 5k because it's a 5k but lots of type one fun because i've never been for a run on an island before yeah massive types even when you finish that though it's great check out our medals i'm very excited very very excited this one is for you congratulations thank you what an achievement i know hardest 5k ever in this heat well done well done for being the fastest and sweatiest Thank you. We finished it. We had a pina colada, went and jumped in the sea. Like, that's all, every 5K should end. If they ended marathons like that, I'd sign up to every marathon. <laughs> Just give you a pina colada. Promise you a medal and a pina colada and you're anyone's. I'm there. Yeah. Yeah. Sold. Mm. Um, but no, that was just amazing. Because you kind of, I, it kind of caught me off guard because you've done so much already, like on the ship. And then suddenly you're in the Bahamas mm. and you're on this amazing island, like, beautiful beaches and amazing sea like it's just it's just a, like a dream it's a it's an incredible place and you know with those extra little disney magic touches yo ho yo ho a pirate's life for me <laughs> we were on the family beach in a lovely cabana which was beautiful mm-hmm. I, I so many times i was like i can't i can't believe that we're in the bahamas right now yeah it was just so relaxing wasn't it mm. and also i think like it's a really nice balance on here of like fun you know you can do rides you can watch shows and you can see movies and then also in the same day you can be floating in the sea and be completely rested and peaceful like it's an an amazing kind of balance so we did have a lovely relaxing time yes but then we balanced that with pelican plunge well you gotta have a bit of fun (laughs) um yeah those slides are really intense Okay, so one of the kids' clubs, Edge, is above us, uh, and it's started to get a little bit loud, a yeah. little, bit, little bit noisy. We can hear them having fun up there. They're having a great time up there. If you can hear them, they're having a really good time. <laughs> but that I'm probably takes us to a nice little segue of the adult-only areas yeah. on board, uh, and there are quite a few. Which is really nice. We had we dipped our feet in the infinity pool, which is like off the back of the ship. Yeah. 
which is really cool. I mean, as far as infinity pools go, it's pretty amazing just to be sat with your feet in the water looking out at just the ocean as far as you can see. Yeah. So that was pretty amazing. We went for a nice chill coffee. Mm-hmm. Just got a cup of coffee. In the Cove Cafe. Nice quiet cup of coffee. I mean, we don't get a lot of adult only time. Yeah. So it was quite nice, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Just chilling on a sun lounger. Yeah. And those sun loungers, they're round. They're awesome. They just, they're the perfect thing to share with someone. Yeah. Well, you were just reading your book, so. I'm sorry. But you were looking you out to see. You had a good thing to look at. I've been looking for whales and dolphins and stuff. <laughs> I know every time I look out, I'm like, please, please come <laughs> see us. <laughs> um, also adult only, the bars. We've been to the Bayou quite a few times. Yep. Amazing. Absolutely gorgeous the way they've set that up. It's Princess and the Frog uh, inspired. Yeah. And we've seen some great live music there as well. Although, my, you know what my favourite one was, I know. Tell me. The Hyperspace Lounge. <laughs> the Star Wars Hyperspace Lounge, it, like, is amazing. I mean, you're on a spaceship. You step from the cruise ship onto a spaceship. It's amazing. It's so cool. And the force was strong with those cocktails. It's really, really strong. <laughs> 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 the force is definitely strong, strong with us. <laughs> so cool being in, like immersed in the Star Wars universe. It's amazing, like seeing and looking out the window at the Star Wars planets, and suddenly you jump to light speed, and you're that another... feeling of light speed. What? <laughs> light speed. The whole bar shakes when the ship jumps to light speed. The whole place like shakes like you're at light speed. That, yeah, I forgot about that. That was so mm. cool. Yes, this is so good. I was almost in character. I'm now on a spaceship. Yeah. I'm a bounty hunter. Yeah. Drinking at a bar. Uh huh. Jumping through light speed on my way to collect, you know, find my next rebel scum. You are so cool. Thanks. <laughs> No, but that was a cool thing. Like, you know, you get to, I know it's in one of the adult only areas, but you get to live like your childhood dreams. Now, I, I want to talk about our, our room. Yeah. Our stateroom. Mm -hmm. um, because one thing about going on a cruise, we've never cruised before. We had no idea what a room on a cruise ship would look like. Yeah. Or feel like. Mm -hmm. like I, in my head, it's a really small space. It's got your bed in it. There's loads of room. Like, it's amazing. It's a proper hotel room. Yeah. It's, a, it's a, amazing. We've got this amazing veranda. You can look out at the, at the waves. That was really cool, actually. Mm. Spent a lot of time out there. Lots of storage. I'm all about the storage you whenever I go anywhere. You love the storage. Anywhere. As soon as you go to a hotel room, like, right, where's, where can we put our stuff? Because I like to unpack. I, know, I like just... to properly settle in. We're there for a few days or however long. I like my things out. I like my shorts in one pile, T-shirts in the other, dresses hung up in the wardrobe. Yeah. Suitcase under the bed so I'm not tripping over it so I can make the most of the entire space. I know, you're always impressed by that. If we get to a hotel, I'm like, oh, you can fit the case under the bed. <laughs> and you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's official. On <laughs> Disney Wish, suitcase under the bed. Yep. Something that I have really enjoyed that I didn't even know I needed in my life was the fact that there's two separate doors and two separate rooms, if you like. For One's got a, a toilet and a sink in it and the other one has a sink and a bathroom. It's really so good, isn't it? So we can both, you know, I can go to the loo while you have a shower. I, I, I mean, it's game changer. I know, it was really good, wasn't it? Yeah. And the hosts, the incredible hosts, of like the stadium hosts, have been unbelievable. Yeah, everyone on board, all of the cast members are amazing. The people who serve you at dinner, because you get the same uh, server every meal. So you, even when you eat at different restaurants, you have the same people that come and serve you. So you really get to know like the people. It's like seeing friends. Yeah, you, you kind of feel like, oh, hey. And they kind of, yeah, they make a joke of it being the same person. Well, it's really seeing cool. seeing someone in Worlds of Marvel and then seeing them in Arendelle. Yeah, and he was know. like, oh, you met my brother last night. <laughs> he was very funny. <laughs> he was in so character. Cute. He didn't break. <laughs> uh, but no, that's really cool, getting to kind of know that you have people who are dedicated to you and they get to know you a little bit for the you know the few nights that you're with them is really nice. And also, even when you get off and you're at the island, you see the same people from the ship yeah. there on the island with you. So that's, yeah, that's really cool, that bit of it. Literally, when Mariana came into the cabana, I thought I, it was like a long last night. <laughs> Hey, friends are seeing you here. <laughs> you were like that. I was. And, and, and because you do, you see, you bump into people that you've spoken to before. Mm. So you do, you, ha you have this. Yeah, you, you pick know. up on conversations and they've known a little bit about your life. Yeah, yeah it's amazing. Yeah, and, and people that we met as soon as we were walking on. I love it. Mm. It's so good. Uh, now, last night was so much fun uh, because it, after, after your cocktails... Uh, yep. at High Space Lounge uh, we had Pirates Rocking Parlay Party we did yeah with, with a live band like an, a proper live band of pirates playing rock music playing Kiss covers 
on a, I mean, it's like a, the craziest dream. There's a band of pirates playing Kiss on a cruise ship. Then Captain Jack Sparrow abseils in off of the funnel. And then there's fireworks at sea, which is, I think, isn't this the only... Only cruise line to have fireworks at sea, yeah. I mean... Come on. It doesn't, like, it doesn't get any better than that. It's the best. It's literally like a dream. What more would you want on a, from any holiday? You're in the middle of the ocean with pirates playing rock music and fireworks and Captain Jack Sparrow abseiling down out of nowhere. Like, it's Can best. I always say, I think if it wasn't a Disney cruise, I think you would be quite reserved in, yeah. in that moment. Like Whenever we go to like gigs and stuff, I would say you're quite a reserved audience member. I yeah, it's something about being on this ship. You were there. You were dancing. I you live were singing along. My best Disney life. Yeah, and this is. I feel like this is the real me. I think feel like the real me only comes out when I'm in <laughs> when I'm in on a Disney cruise. I feel like I found my home. <laughs> I found my happy place. It's on the Disney Wish. <laughs> I feel like I should never leave this place. Oh. Yeah. Now, it wouldn't be an episode of Journey to the Magic without a game of Lightning McQueen quick fire round. So, I thought, well, we need a quiz master. And who better than our incredible Disney insider, Elkie, who has been on Disney Wish with us. Elkie, come on, join us. Ahoy, sailors. <laughs> Ahoy. Ahoy, uh, me hearties. Me hearties, I had to, sorry. <laughs> um, so... Are you ready for the Lightning McQueen quick fire round? Yes. Yep. The game face is already here. I am here. ready. We're going to make it Disney Wish edition. Okay. So, Marvel Superhero Academy or Star Wars Cargo Bay? Marvel Superhero Academy for me. Yeah, I think I would probably pick that as well. No, it was just you so it was so good. Yeah, it was really really good. Chicken tenders or Mickey waffles? Oh, Ooh, Mickey waffles. Mickey waffles, yeah, for sure. See, I do love a Mickey waffle. I love a Mickey waffle. Chicken tenders are very different. They are very good. They're, they're very good. They so very good I'm going to go chicken tender. Bad choice, honey. Mickey waffles. Only. And a lot of people don't know that you can get Mickey waffles on the cruise line as well. So oh, Actually, we haven't had them on, the, on here yet. Tomorrow morning. Before, before we <laughs> leave, we that's go. what we're yeah. grabbing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Hyperspace Lounge or the Bayou? Hyperspace oh. Lounge all the way. By you, all the live music. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, no, that the live music was really not good. It was really great. But when else are you in a hyperspace like in a in a bar that is travelling through hyperspace? Okay, character meet and greet or a Disney show? Disney show, Disney show, Disney show for me. I don't know because the meet and greets on board are kind of unique and special. They're I feel super like, special. Yeah, I feel like you don't get to meet you know these characters or in these outfits. You know, like Pirate Mickey or Captain Minnie and Mickey. I feel like they're quite special. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the characters, meeting the characters. I feel yeah. like Pirate Goofy definitely swung that one for you. Yeah, <laughs> and also like dancing. we're here with my sister and she like lives for meeting the characters. Yeah, and like it's a meeting you know the Captain Mickey and yeah. Pirate Minnie. Like she's adorable. When when the characters are around, Carrie is the most adorable human in the world. Her face lights up. She gets all giddy. You can see it in her bones. Yeah, so I feel like I'm gonna go with the characters. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, movie under the stars or movie in the Neverland cinema. Oh, the cinemas are really cool. They are very cool. Yeah. The popcorn is very tasty. The popcorn is really, really tasty. Yeah, I'm going to go with the... Yeah, I like the cinemas. I like the Wonderland cinema. Yeah. I like the design. I like the lights, Cheshire Cats and all the lights in the walls. It's, it's really good. cool, that one. Yeah, yeah, so we've got two two cinemas on mm-hmm. the Disney Wish, which, yeah. is, which is amazing. So yeah. both cinema? I, but I'd say cinema, yes. Okay. Yeah. And they show, like, the, all the movies that are out. And it's like they've got Thor, Love and Thunder cool. on here now, mm-hmm. and Lightyear and which Rescue just Rangers. Come out in the cinemas. Yeah. Which is really cool. Very, very cool. Okay, I feel like this one is going to be a controversial one. Mickey ears or Disney pin badge? Oh, <gasps> that's tough. I that's really to. tough. I pin badge, to. I reckon. <laughs> only because I, know, I really, only knew to the ears. I so. really wanted ears this trip, so that's a new thing. But I've, I have to get pin. That's like tradition for me. It's not. It's not a complete Disney trip if I, if I don't get a pin badge. You know what? I, I'm really proud of my ear collection, and I look forward to every trip to to growing that collection. And now to have one that is cruise inspired, I'm very, very happy. Okay, so ears for you, G. Yes. Tom, yeah, I thought we had you with, with these ears. I know, I do like these ones a lot, but it's, it's got to be pin badge. I'm sorry. Okay, Arendelle, a frozen dying adventure or World of Marvel? Uh, World of Marvel for me. 
Really? Yeah, that was so cool. That was a really... I think because it was the first one we'd done and mm. I was just ex- I was just kind of expecting it to be oh, this is going to be a cool themed restaurant. Yeah. Um, but so for having like a show and it being like interactive that you have to take part in and then, yeah, like the kind of surprise at the end is it's, that's a really, yeah, I think the Marvel one. It was cinematic, right? It was just... Yeah, well, I'm just so seeing like, wow, this is like you're, what, you're in a Marvel adventure with yeah. all of the marvel guys like actually and it's unique for the like they've got the cruise ship is part of the storyline like it's amazing it's so cool it's a very cool show for Do me you? it's got to be arendelle just the, the like the musicians the way the trio were together the violinist yeah it was really beautiful to watch and uh yeah you f- and it's interactive you're you're a part of it the characters are talking to you and it's a two really different very experiences, different aren't they? experiences. Mm. yeah but if i was to do another one tonight I would uh, you'd go frozen would you okay interesting okay running the castaway key 5k or relaxing in a private cabana Uh, well that's type 2 and type 1 fun there isn't it (laughs) Um, I think um, I actually really enjoyed doing the run because it's like you just when else do you get to go and do a 5k in the Bahamas I feel like that's a unique experience a one off experience I would have to agree the 5k Type one fun, cast away key, five K. Aqua Mouse or Incredi Course? Oh, Aqua Mouse. Oh, yeah, definitely Aqua Mouse. Yeah. Yes. Both a lot of fun. Yeah, but I feel like oh it's so much fun like getting to go like do a like a ride on a cruise ship. It's amazing. It's <laughs> the first as well, the first the f- of kind first attraction at sea. So yeah. that's super cool. Yeah. Super, super cool. Yeah, that was easy. We both fit the same. Yeah. Got some, yeah. 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 And finally, are you ready for this one? Walt Disney World Resort in oh, Florida gosh. or Disney Cruise Line? That's like oh, choosing that's... between your children, Elkie. I can't do this. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like the perfect, you want to combine those two, yes, don't you? Tom. Like That's the perfect yes. combo. Look, and I w- will admit, like I, n- I was never attracted by d- with the cruises. Like I, I loved Walt Disney World so much and the thought of going somewhere out, of leaving there. You know, if you get one chance in your, you know, to come to Walt Disney World, I just thought, well, why do you want to leave? But I, I'm totally sold on it now. Like, I totally get why people fall in love with coming here because it's a, it's a different experience, mm. but it has everything you love about Walt Disney World, that kind of magic, the fun. But it also, it's just got something else that I guess Walt Disney World doesn't have. So if you can combine the two and have some time in Disney World and some time on the cruise... They complement they, each other. They, they do, do go yeah. really well. And, you know, at Disney, we say it's the ultimate Disney holiday to combine the two. So yeah. I love that it's taken one. like 37 years <laughs> for me to realise this, for me to finally be convinced. You said it yourself, <laughs> and the big, I guess the big question, though, is what do you do first? Do you do Walt Disney World and then come and chill out on a cruise? Or do you ease yourself in gently to Disney life and have a cruise and then Walt Disney World? Yeah, that's true. The choice is yours, though, right? Yes. Yeah. I definitely feel... I would do the cruise second to relax because yeah. like yeah, you guys yeah, yeah. are saying that the adult only areas you do get that downtime mm-hmm. and I'm crazy in the parks like I want to see and do everything yeah same things. we yeah. go pretty wild in the parks yeah so maybe yes. go into the parks go wild and then go crazy and then come here downtime. and relax yeah well we're sorted um, <laughs> okay now guys I know you both want to go off and enjoy the aqua mouse again so whilst you go and have some fun I'm going to stay because it's also been my first time sailing on the Disney Wish so I thought it would be a great idea for me to maybe share some of my insider top tips and must do's amazing so I'll see you guys real soon thanks Elke bye, bye. enjoy The Disney Wish brings to life more Disney storytelling than ever before, immersing guests in Disney, Marvel, Star Wars, and Pixar adventures in new and unexpected ways. The Disney Wish is filled with a -a one-of-a-kind experience and industry first that you can't find anywhere else on land or sea. With its home port in Port Canaveral, Florida, the Disney Wish offers itineraries ranging from three to four night cruises to Nassau in the Bahamas and Disney's private island, Castaway Key. Disney is famous for its entertainment and Disney Wish was purposely designed with entertainment in mind. The Walt Disney Theatre offers original stage spectaculars and exclusively for Disney Cruise Line, including an innovative Broadway-style take on the beloved classic, The Little Mermaid, plus a reimagined adaptation of Disney's Aladdin and musical spectacular. 
The Disney Wish also features two boutique cinemas offering guests classic films and movie premieres at the same time at sea as it does in the cinema on land. How cool is that? The Disney Wish continues Disney Cruise Line's innovative rotational dining concept where guests experience one of three imaginative restaurants each night accompanied by a dedicated service team that is assigned to their family throughout the voyage. In addition, 24-hour room service is available and there are countless quick service casual options such as Mickey and Friends Festival of Foods located right in the middle of the fun on the upper decks. But that's not all. We also have premium adult only restaurants, Paolo Steakhouse inspired by Beauty and the Beast and Enchante by a three Michelin starred chef. The adult only areas don't stop there. Disney Wish has Senses Spa, a tranquil oasis offering indulgent spa and beauty treatments complete with outdoor area. Senses Fitness, gym and even a barber's. Now, G mentioned that she and Tom explored the Ocean is Club for the little ones, but Disney Wish also has options for older kids too. Edge is where tweens ages 11 to 14 can have fun, Vibe is for teens aged from 14 to 17, and the hideaway is a cool new hangout area for the older kids and young adults to relax, party in a swanky setting complete with a dance floor and even a DJ booth. When you are on board, the Disney Cruise Line app becomes your cruise navigator, which shows you plans for any activities that you've booked, like port adventures or spa treatments, as well as all of those daily activities that are occurring throughout the ship, such as character greetings, cinema show times, open house sessions for youth experiences. And one more magical touch that we only have here on board the Disney Wish is the Wish Tower Suite, a first of its kind accommodation set high in the forward funnel of the ship with nearly 2000 square feet of living space. It comfortably sleeps up to eight guests with two main bedrooms, a children's room, a library that converts to a bedroom and four and a half bathrooms. How cool is that? And now back to G. Thanks so much, Elkie, and a massive thank you to Tom Fletcher for being the best travel buddy. It really has been <laughs> the best trip. So great, in fact, that we've decided to bring the whole family back on our next Disney Cruise Line adventure. Now, Elkie talked to us earlier in the series about Disney Dream, another of the Disney Cruise Line five cruise ships coming to Europe for the first time in 2023. We're so excited to explore the Disney Dream and see some stunning locations in Europe during our next sailing. Thank you so much for joining us for Series 2, this special episode on board Disney Wish, and see you soon for Series 3. Yes, it's coming soon. <laughs>